Okay, today we are going to use uh, a new tool, ChatGPT, which has been built into the back end. If you take a look at the lower left corner, it's been built into the back end of the Selling Tools websites. It is an artificial intelligence which will write copy for you, write, it, it's, it's an amazing tool. If you click on mine now, you can see here where it tells you keyword research, content generation, proofreading, editing, writing articles. It's really quite amazing. And you can do your SEO tags, your uh, writing copy. So what I want to do now is just flip over to and show you what happens when I open it up. If you don't have the key, you can go in and add your API key here. And it's it, it'll walk you through and how you can set this up. And it's not that hard. If you have challenges, well, just we can call our support. Our support will help you set this up. I want to focus the time on writing articles for you and how you can use this service to help you make your website keyword rich and how it will help you raise and rank your website in the search engines. So close this for now. We're going to open up a website in the back end. Now you're going to go over to the top here. Let's go to the content page or content. I want to start with the home page just because the home page is your title. We have it set up um, with London Ontario Home Sales James Osmar. I did that because it's all keyword rich as a title. If we click on this, I can have the service ChatGPT write that title for us. And just to show you, write a title with my name James Osmar and London Ontario Real Estate as a title for my home page. And you can see here it spelled my name wrong, which it always does. I'm sure it'll learn it over time. Now, click on that. It'll write the title for us. There's a welcome to James Osmar, your London, Ontario real estate expert. Now, what I'm going to do is copy that. If I don't like that, I can get it to write and paste that in there and do this a few times. What it's doing now is writing a copy for the lower part of the page. Another important thing to note is that on average, you should not have more than two keywords per every 100 keywords written because then the search engines will deem you as keyword stuffing. And if you're keyword stuffing, they're going to take away rank on your website. So you want to kind of limit it to two, maybe three keywords on the first page and an additional page. If you're writing, for example, a 15 page article, well, the first few pages are going to be where Google goes in and really ranks and, and determines where you should rank you. And it's, 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 just, it's just something to be aware of as you're writing this. So I'm not going to go through here a lot now, but if I wanted to go back and go in here, my real estate expert, not really what I would like to do. Using this sentence, can you rewrite a new title for me? Okay, welcome to James Osmar. And of course you edit this a little bit, your trusted real estate partner in real estate in London, Ontario. So that's how you can write a title. And if you want to know more about title writing, you can go here on the, on the title tips and this will explain more to you about how you should, ideally should not have it more than, more than 70 characters longer than 10. And there's reasons for that because it's just the way the search engines work. Now, if I wanted to write content, which I did earlier here, as you can see, there's content for that page. Um, and it, as an experienced real estate professional in London, Ontario, I'm here to help you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not going to read it all. I want to move through this just so that I can give you examples. Now I'm going to go over to edit pages. The about us page is going to be, well, it's about us, right? And you could change that. Write a title for my about us page, James Osmar in London, Ontario, real estate. So there's my title, spelled my name wrong again, which I'm not gonna get too upset about. If I close this, I wanna go down and get meta tags. Just for fun, if you want to know what a meta tag is, it'll, ex it'll explain it in here. Now you want under 160 characters. So under 160 characters, so I want a meta description using under 160 characters. Write a meta description between 70 and 160 characters for James Osmar, London, Ontario, real estate. Now I'll go back, get to spell my name right. I wish I would have learned that quicker, but... In my opinion, artificial intelligence, these chat GPTs are not artificial intelligence. They're going out to the internet world and pulling information off of the internet. So they're not, I don't think, thinking for themselves. I think it's a bit of a misnomer. But in any event, it sure makes life easy. So there you go. Real estate specializing in helping clients to buy and sell and invest in beautiful London, Ontario. His professional yet personal approach makes them find yada, yada, yada. So there you go.
There's a meta tag written that you can copy and paste in here. If you don't like it, you can copy and paste the meta tag back into, write me another meta tag. It's not wanting to do that for me. So let's just go, oh, meta description, paste. Let's see what happens. Not what I would like. So what I like about what we're doing here is you can take this and you can redo it again and again. If you don't like what you're seeing, write me a meta description between, copy the whole title again and have that go through. And it'll write another one for you. So there's your meta description. Why do you want to do this? Is because Google comes along and they rank. They'll look at your title. That's a very weak title, by the way. It's because it wasn't set up to do anything for us. Meta description was done. Meta keywords. Um, these are very important. You're going to go in here and see adding meta keywords can be ranked search engines. And this will help you rank in Bing, Yahoo, Google, etc. So let's go back over here and write. Give me five meta keywords for my James Osmar London, Ontario real estate website. There you go. London, Ontario real estate, James Osmar. So you want to correct these things because this stuff isn't perfect, but it sure makes life easier. On the note of five keywords, one of the things that you want to pay attention to is that when you're putting keyword, meta tag keywords in, into your website and i'm going to copy them all here right now just for ease of use i'll copy all of them and show you what i mean you don't want to put in more than five the reason being is if you're putting more than five keywords into your into your website on a, on a specific page look at it as a bucket of water if you have a bucket of water and you have a hole in that bucket of water it's going to leak out slowly if you have five holes it's going to leak out and get pulled in five different directions if you have 25 holes in your bucket it's going to drain really quickly so you do not want a page to be concentrating on too many areas because it just loses its strength so there we go now i'm going to go over and take the number one off and i'm going to take off number two and space it with a comma number three add the r for my name space it with a comma Houses, comma, real estate services, comma, property listings, you can leave at that. Now, you may not like houses. You may like homes more than houses. I like homes more. So there you go. That's done. You save. Now, what was this? The About Us page. Write me a few paragraphs of content for my About Us page on London, Ontario, real estate, James Osmar. So as that goes through, it writes me off a bunch. I'm not going to bother correcting the name. It's not that big a deal. Duplicate it. There we go. Command C, Command V, and I pasted everything in. Now you may want to go back and clean that up, clean up the typos, redo the paragraphs as they were in this particular item here. And I'm not going to go and clean this up just because it's just not worth it. So I want to go back to edit pages. Let's hope that brings us all the way back. I want to try 29 essential tips. 29 essential tips to get your home sold fast for top dollar. What I recommend you do in your town, 29 essential tips that get London, Ontario home sold. I'm going to take out sold. And I don't need London, comma. Ontario homes, take out the double home. Homes sold fast and for top dollar. And as you can see, there is going to be weight in there because you have the word homes, you get uh, tips, you get London, Ontario, meta key, meta description. I am going to go into copy, into chat GPT, copy this, take out the dollar signs, write me a meta description. Let's hope that it figures that out. Let's sell your home in London, Ontario, fast and for top dollar. Get this essential tips from our professionals. Da, 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 da. So there you go. There's your meta description. You see, you do not want to have your title and your meta description the same. You want to have them different because what ends up happening then is that Google has more ways to angle and look at the information. So then you're going to go keywords. Give me the five best keywords for my London, Ontario real estate homepage using the previous sentence. So there you go. I'm not going to show you how to edit those again, but you get the idea. London, Ontario real estate, you know, you have to complete the word, um, sell homes quickly, comma, top dollar price, comma, uh, and so on. Maximum profit, expert advice, those kinds of things. And if you don't like them, remember, you can get them to do it again. 
So you can go in and you can pull out 10, but I'm recommending that you don't put more than five because I really do think that you deplete the power of the page. Now the same as going in down here, get your copy today. $49, this report will be available. I would try to get my keywords in here. And the reason I don't do this for everybody because everybody's page would liable to be the same and you wouldn't want to do that. Of 29 essential tips that get London, Ontario home sold fast and for top dollar. You have that, again, the keywords Get your copy today of 29 essential tips for the $49. This, this report will be available through fast through email. The special 11 page report is available to any London, Ontario, and area homeowner. It was already in there, so I didn't need to say homeowner again. So you're going to go through here and try to read and logically place the word London, Ontario, homes, real estate, properties, those kinds of things. Um, you can do in here, and here's another little trick you can do. Command C because I own a Mac. And then what I would want to do is open up a page, word counter. Open up the page, 29 essential tips. Okay, now let's go here, copy, go back to the page link here for word counter, which is just a third party site off of the internet. It'll go in there, search. It's not what 926 words in total. Now, why is that important? Because if there's 900 and you can put two per hundred, that means basically you can put about 18 or 19 keywords in this article here. Not bad knowledge, is it? So words like home, London, Ontario, London, um, real estate, things like that. So now you get it. This is what I am trying to achieve here is to give you an ability to make your websites rank higher in the search engines. If you do this and go through the entire site and spend some time, you will find your website will start ranking higher in your market just because Google now has something to go on. If you want to click the subscribe button because I'm going to be trying to do these regularly and what I am going to do in the next video is show you how you can use chat gpt for blogging this next video will blow your mind because you can take this keyword structure um, and apply it to your blogs but you can also get chat gpt to write your entire blogs it's amazing anyway see you on the next video